Welcome back, agents. Welcome to 2023 and another episode of Prime Tips. Today we are talking about spatial audio and the Sony Link Buds and the ability to do the head, track, head tracking. So what they are, basically they are through the ear earbuds. So uh, you notice it has a little hole, so it's through the back actually. So with that little hole being down in your ear, it doesn't block out all the ambient sound around you. You can still hear people talking things around you because the sound can go through the little hole. But they also work just like your regular earbuds. So you do get the left and right. You're able to hear things from the scanner. And as a bonus, they do what's called head tracking. So I'm able to turn my head left and right and the avatar in the program will respond to that. Now it's not a simple plug them in and away you go. Depending upon the device that you use, you're going to have to set it up. Uh, in my case, there's a program called uh, headphones uh, that I have to set up and get running and I have to do the pairing and all that good stuff. But these just kind of go down in your ear and they sit in there fairly snug if you get them right. Um, I'm always afraid that they're going to fall out. But, you know, they just sit right in there and they'll, they'll stay there. And once you've got them and you Bluetooth and you pair them, uh, you're able to hear things. Then you can start up your scanner and you can get the heads up tracking. So here's the program that, that I have. And you'll notice that there's some settings and things like that. Now, one thing with mine that I found out is... I had to turn off the tap function. So with these, you can actually tap just by touching your face in front. These things are so dang sensitive, I had to turn it off because if I'm eating or chewing or talking, evidently my jaw moves enough that it thinks that I've actually tapped it. So I've turned that off. Um, but once you've got it set up and running, then you're ready to launch the scanner. Now, you may notice that as I turn my scanner, the van's going to move. So that's, that's kind of normal. But as I move my head left, right, up, down, there's nothing that is moving the van. So the thing is, after you have it going, I can hear, just like I normally hear, I can tell that there is a portal off to my right. Um, but I need to set up the head tracking to get this to work. So once you've got them all set up, go into your menu, go into settings, and down in settings, enable head tracking. So I will do that. And it head tracking headphones have sensors that tell ingress where direction you're facing, optimizes a scanner for spatial audio, enable agents to listen to the portal network, and rely on their aural sense to navigate around the world. I haven't used it much walking, but I can see that it probably would be better that you can kind of tell where things are at. So I'll hit connect. And again, it says select your headphones from the list of supported headphones below. As far as I know right now, the Sony Link Bud series is the only ones that are set up to work with the scanner. So I will say Sony Link Buds. Before connecting your headphones to ingress, confirm it's paired to your phone, which it is. I can hear things. It's not paired. Go to Bluetooth selection and do that. Return to ingress. I will say OK. And it works on it. And they are now ready to use the spatial audio and head tracking. Best results, look up and down. Turn your head left and right to auto calibrate ingress. And we'll use head tracking to orient your agent avatar so you can listen to nearby portals as you explore the portal network. And you might notice in the background that there's a little red set of headsets, which means it's there, it's just not really configured or set up. So I'm gonna say okay. And so for it to do that, I'm gonna to have to do some head movement. So I'll go left, I'll go right. And notice I got yellow, up, down, left, 
right. And I got green. Okay, so now I got green. Now my head tracking is attached. So now you notice that if I, I move the phone around, the van's not moving, okay? It's attached to my head. So if I look left, or I look right, so it's now tracking. I don't think it does anything when I go up and down. So if I'm walking down a path and I hear something over to the right, I can look that way and I can hear, although you may not be able to hear because it's not stereo, I can hear the position of the portal orally change to know that I'm facing, I'm now facing that portal instead of it being off to my right hand side. So that's the head tracking. Um, is it worth it? I, I don't know. I really haven't used it enough to know whether it's actually worth it or not. It is a bit of a pain to get to work. And I will say these, these are not as secure in my ear as I would like them to be. My ears evidently are not shaped the best. I need to get another, uh, another fitting to ho ho hopefully make that work better. I will say that the sound is excellent. And it is good that I can hear ambient sound around me much better than if I have something stuffed down into my ear canals. And as a bonus, if you're a singer, uh, I'm a barbershop quartet singer. If you're a singer, these things are great to practice with because again, you can hear down through that canal so you can hear yourself sing as you're hearing the backing track, but that's got nothing to do with ingress. So there you have it, heads up, left, right, center. Pretty cool. I don't know if it's a big advantage or not, but maybe it'll be an advantage enough that I'll see you in the field sometime soon. So long, agents.